OpenAI GPT Next will be 100 times more powerful than GPT-4. OpenAI $2,000 Premium Subscription New OpenAI Source 70 billion parameter model beat GPT-4 and Claude Sonnet. And there's plenty more to unpack, so let's dive into the top AI stories of the week. So apparently there was this big summit in Japan, the KDDI Summit 2024, and the CEO of OpenAI Japan dropped a bombshell. He basically said they're working on this new AI model, they're calling it GPT Next for now, and it's going to be a hundred times more powerful than GPT-4. Yeah, you heard that right, a hundred times. Now, I don't know about you, but GPT-4 already seems pretty darn smart to me. It can write code, translate languages, even write poetry that almost sounds human. But this new model? They're saying it's going to be on a whole other level. Like, think PhD level intelligence on certain tasks. Imagine having ANAI that can not only solve complex problems, but actually understand and explain them like a real expert. That's the kind of potential we're talking about here. And it's not just about raw power. This new model is supposed to be multimodal, meaning it can handle different kinds of input, like images, videos, and even audio. So instead of just typing out a prompt, you could show the AI a picture OR, play it a sound clip, and it would understand what's going on. It's like giving it another sense, another way to experience the world. Oh, and did I mention it's supposed to be way more efficient too? They're saying it'll achieve this insane performance boost without needing a ton of extra computing power. That's a big deal. Because, let's face it, training these giant AI models takes a ridiculous amount of energy. If they can figure out how to make them more efficient, it could be a game changer for the whole field. Now, here's the really interesting part. They didn't just talk about this GPT next thing at the summit. They also hinted at some other projects they're working on, like this thing called Project Strawberry. From what I understand, it's all about pushing the boundaries of AI even further. They want to create models that can reason like humans, do their own research, and even come up with new ideas on their own. It's kind of like they're trying to build a digital brain that can think for itself. And that's where it gets a little bit freaky, to be honest. Because if they actually succeed in creating ANAI, that's that smart, that independent, well, who knows what the implications could be. It could revolutionize everything from healthcare to education to the way we work and live. But it could also raise some serious ethical questions. Like what happens if these AI systems become too powerful? What if they start making decisions that we don't agree with? Or even pose a threat to humanity? It's like we're standing on the edge of a whole new era. And we don't even know what's on the other side. It's exciting, sure. But it's also a little bit scary. Now, to be fair, OpenAI did come out and clarify some things after the summit. They said that GPT Next isn't actually the official name of the new model. It's just a placeholder and they haven't released any concrete details about Project Strawberry either. So, we're still kind of in the dark about a lot of this stuff. But even so, the fact that they're even talking about these things publicly tells you something. It tells you that they're serious about pushing the limits of AI, about creating something truly groundbreaking. And whether we're ready for it or not, it looks like the future of AI is going to be here sooner than we think. Our next news also comes from OpenAI. Apparently, OpenAI is considering charging some serious money for its upcoming super-powered AI models. We're talking monthly subscriptions that could potentially cost as much as two grand. Yeah, you heard that right. $2,000 a month. Now I get it. Running these massive AI models isn't cheap. But still, that price tag seems a bit insane, right? I mean, it's one thing to charge businesses a premium for access to cutting-edge AI tools. But for regular folks like you and me, it feels like a slap in the face. OpenAI's current chat GPT Plus plan costs $20 a month, which seems reasonable. But jumping to $2,000, that's a hundredfold increase. It's like they're saying, hey, if you want the best AI, you better be prepared to pay through the nose. I worry that this kind of pricing strategy could create a digital divide, where only the wealthy and big corporations can afford the most advanced AI tools. It's like having a fancy sports car that only a select few can drive. Sure, it's impressive, but it doesn't really help the average person get around. On the other hand, maybe OpenAI is just testing the waters. Maybe they'll realize that a $2,000 subscription is too much and come up with a more reasonable pricing structure. I hope so, because AI has the potential to benefit everyone, not just the privileged few. Now let's switch gears and talk about something a bit more positive. Time Magazine just released its list of the 100 most influential people in AI for 2024. And let me tell you, it's a pretty impressive lineup. You've got the usual suspects, like Sundar Pichai from Google and Satya Nadella from Microsoft. These guys are leading the charge when it comes to integrating AI into everyday products and services. But there are also some lesser-known names on the list, 
like India's Minister of Electronics and Information Technology, and Anil Kapoor, who's been fighting for the ethical use of AI. It's really cool to see such a diverse group of people being recognized for their contributions to AI. It shows that this field isn't just about tech geeks and Silicon Valley billionaires. It's about people from all walks of life coming together to shape the future of technology. One thing that really struck me about the list is how many young people are on it. There's Dwarkesh Patel, who hosts a popular podcast about AI, and Sasha Lucioni, who's leading the charge on AI and climate change at Hugging Face. It's inspiring to see the next generation stepping up and making their voices heard. Overall, I think the Time 100 AI list is a great reminder of the incredible potential of artificial intelligence. It's a field that's constantly evolving, and it's exciting to see so many talented people working to push the boundaries of what's possible. Sure, there are challenges ahead. We need to make sure that AI is developed and used responsibly, in a way that's fair and accessible to everyone. But if we can do that, the possibilities are endless. From curing diseases to solving climate change, AI has the potential to make the world a better place. And that's something worth getting excited about. Speaking of exciting developments, I recently came across something that really caught my attention. There's this new open source AI model called Reflection 70B, and it's supposed to be the most powerful one out there right now. It's got this crazy ability to correct its own errors, which is like mind blowing. Imagine writing an essay and having the AI catch your typos and grammar mistakes as you go. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. And it's not just about fixing errors. Reflection 70B is also really good at reasoning and understanding complex tasks. It's been tested on all sorts of benchmarks, and it's apparently beating out some of the big commercial models like Claude and even GPT-4. That's a pretty big deal for an open source model. The best part is that it's available for anyone to download and use. You can get it on Hugging Face and play around with it yourself. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but from what I've read, it's pretty impressive. Oh, and did I mention they're already working on an even bigger version? Reflection 405B is supposed to be coming out soon, and it's rumored to be even more powerful than GPT-4. That's going to be insane. But wait, there's more. Claude, the AI model from Anthropic, just got a major upgrade too. They've launched Claude Enterprise, which has a massive 500k context window. That means it can handle a ton of information at once, making it perfect for businesses that need to process large amounts of data. And get this, it even has native GitHub integration. So if you're a developer, you can connect Claude directly to your code repository and have it help you with things like debugging and writing new features. That's going to be a huge time saver. Plus, Claude Enterprise has all sorts of enterprise-grade security features, so you don't have to worry about your data being compromised. It's like they've thought of everything. All right, so check this out. DeepMind, you know, the AI geniuses behind AlphaGo and AlphaFold, just dropped another bomb on the science world. Alpha Proteo. This bad boy isn't about playing games or predicting protein structures. It's about designing brand new proteins from scratch, like proteins that have never existed before in nature. Imagine being able to create proteins that can fight off diseases, improve crop yields, or even help us understand the mysteries of the human body. That's the kind of power Alpha Proteo could potentially unlock. See, proteins are the building blocks of life. They're involved in pretty much everything our bodies do, from digesting food to fighting infections. And scientists have been trying for decades to figure out how to design proteins that can perform specific tasks. But it's been a slow and tedious process, kind of like trying to build a Lego castle blindfolded. Alpha Pro Teo changes the game. It's like having a super smart assistant that can look at a target molecule and say, okay, I know exactly what kind of protein will bind to that perfectly. And then it designs it just like that. It's crazy efficient and it's already producing results that blow traditional methods out of the water. They've tested it on a bunch of different targets and it's been able to design protein binders that are hundreds of times more effective than anything we've seen before. It even worked on a protein called VEGFA, which has been notoriously difficult to target. That's a huge deal because VEGFA is involved in a bunch of diseases like cancer and macular degeneration. Now, Alpha Proteo isn't perfect yet. It still struggles with some really tricky targets and there's a lot we don't know about how it actually works, but it's a major step forward and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we do research and develop new treatments. Think about it. Instead of spending years and millions of dollars trying to find a drug that works against a particular disease, we could use Alpha Proteo to design a protein that specifically targets the problem. It could speed up drug development, make it more efficient, and maybe even lead to cures for diseases that have been stumping us for centuries. And it's not just about medicine. 
Alpha Proteo could also be used to create new materials, improve industrial processes, or even help us clean up the environment. The possibilities are endless. The best part is that DeepMind is sharing its research with the world. They're publishing a detailed paper on Alpha Proteo so that other scientists can build on their work and push the boundaries even further. It's the kind of open collaboration that can lead to truly groundbreaking discoveries. Honestly, it's kind of crazy how fast AI is advancing. It feels like every week there's a new breakthrough or a new model that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible. It's both exciting and a little bit scary, you know? On the one hand, AI has the potential to revolutionize so many industries and make our lives easier in countless ways. But on the other hand, there's always the fear that it could get out of control or be used for malicious purposes. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it all plays out. But one thing's for sure, the future of AI is going to be wild. So what are your thoughts on this AI revolution? Mind-blowing, isn't it? If you enjoyed this update, hit that like, share it, and subscribe for more AI adventures.